Okay, I'm going to show you how we build up a basic mix of drums and guitars. I'll start with the, uh, the drum track here. I've got uh, just a MIDI, a MIDI uh, track from one of our songs from Duplicity. And um, it's, a, it's kind of poly timed uh, bass drum in sync with the guitars. Um, firstly, I'm going to load up the samples that we're going to use. I've got Stephen Slate uh, kick and snare samples. Which uh, the kick sounds like this, and the snare <laughs> sounds like this. And I'm putting them through uh, battery two, and I've got three uh, tom samples, which are the Chimera toms from the Andy Snoop forum. Um, so they sound like, like this. I'm then going to launch Easy Drummer for the uh, for the cymbals and for the room sound. And I'm going to load up the uh, the Nashville uh, plugin for it because it's got some nice symbols on that. Okay, if we open the mixer, I'm going to turn down the all the kicks, snares, and toms, and leave only the hi hats and overheads and room sound mics up. That way, we'll get the drum hit, drum hit sounds from the other plugin, from the Battery Two plugin, and the symbols from Easy Drum. I'm now going to route the main outs to battery 2 and one of the sends of the track into Easy Drummer. Together they should sound like this. Okay, at the moment, the, moment the, uh, the Easy Drummer is far too loud compared to the, uh, the battery synth, so it sounds very roomy. So I'm going to turn down Easy Drummer on the mixer. The balance has got a bit. It's got a bit more balanced now. Uh, next, thing I'm going to do is put some uh, parallel compression on the uh, kick, snare, and toms to bring them to the front of the mix a bit more. So, the way to do that is to add a uh, group channel track. Right, we uh, add uh, add FX channel track well. And for the effects, I'm going to use a Waves L2 compressor. And I'm going to bring the threshold down. Roughly minus 12. Now, on each individual drum track, we need to route one of the sends into the uh, wave into the waves compressor. So this is the uh, this is the kick here. Route that through. Put it on about zero. Let the zero level. And that's given it a lot more power. Do the same now for the snare. I'm going to bring this down a little bit because the snare is normally quite quite loud in the mix as it is. So that's really hard hitting now, really powerful. And then the same with the toms. Just rooting them all through to this one compressor. All at around zero dB to begin with, because it can be tweaked later. So 17 and 18, the kick and snare, 19, 20, and 21 are the three toms. So all together, that should sound like this. Right now, the easy drummer is far too quiet in comparison to the uh, to the drum hits. So I'm going to bring that back up again. Happy with how that sounds, so I'm going to bring in the guitars and the strings just to get an idea how it sounds in the mix. I said the kick's a bit loud, so I'm going to bring that down.
and that's without any EQ or compression or any effects at all on any of the audio parts, the, the guitars and, and, uh, and the strings were through a synth, through a uh, uh, software synth. Um, so that's how you can get a decent uh, metal sound without using uh, too many effects. hope that's been useful. Very well compassion makes such a difference. It does, not it? <laughs> I'm glad it's better. Uh, I'm stopping the toilet. Yeah.